In a world where the call of shopping and quick joy is always loud, saving money has become like taming a wild animal. It takes a lot of dedication and skill. But fear not, because on this exciting trip, we'll find out how to stop spending too much and embrace the freeing power of being smart with money. Imagine this. You're at a place where there are a lot of dollars. Seems interesting. On one side is the land of spending money without even thinking, where wallets scream in pain and bank accounts run to hide. The promised land of savings is on the other side, where money grows like weeds and financial freedom dances in the night. It's a no-brainer, right? It's time to get those out-of-control costs to behave. Step 1. Going on a spending spree. Explore. Wait a minute. Before you start this great quest to save money, you need a map. A map of how you spend your money. Find the hidden treasures in your financial past and put out your recent bank records, credit card bills, and any other receipts that might be hiding in the depths of your wallet. Don't worry, this isn't a trip to find ancient artifacts. Instead, it's a quest for financial knowledge in the modern era. Remember that time you spent a lot of money on marshmallows in the shape of unicorns? Yes, we'll put that on the list. Start by putting your costs into groups. What do you think about how much you spend on eating out? Do you spend every night trying to be Gordon Ramsay? Or maybe you've been giving yourself a spa day every month, which has turned into a spa celebration. Meet Sally, who loves marshmallows without knowing it. A quick look at her spending map shows that she spent a lot of money on marshmallows. Now that Sally knows this, she changes to regular marshmallows and saves enough money to pay for a year of Netflix. Who knew those marshmallows could help you make a lot of money? Step 2. Making a budget Congratulations, Sherlock. You figured out how to spend the money. The budget adventure is ready to set sail. Make a budget as thorough as your plans to take over the world. The budget isn't a chain. It's your financial guide that shows you where the best places to save money are. Start with your income and your necessary expenses, which are the fixed payments that keep the lights on and the food in the kitchen. Don't stop there, though. Your budget is more than just a list of bills. It's your team of financial heroes. Give each dollar a job to do. Set aside money for food, transportation, and a coffee date every now and then. And don't forget that your budget is not set in stone. It is a live, breathing document that changes as your finances do. Think about Bob the master of the budget. Bob sets aside money for rent, groceries, and even that weekly guitar class he's been wanting to take. He does this with the help of a spreadsheet and a twinkle in his eye. Bob watches his savings grow like a magic beanstalk, only without the giant trying to swipe his coins. Step 3. The Fiesta for Being Cheap Who says that saving money means living alone in a dark corner? Let's be honest. Who wouldn't want to save money by making their own treats and decorating their home? Saving money isn't just about saving money. It's also about being creative with your friends and turning ordinary times into things you'll remember. So pick a date, send out invites, and let the party for saving money begin. Instead of going out to a fancy dinner, have a food party with your friends at your own home. It's like the Olympics of cooking, but you don't have to wear sweaty gym clothes. Gather around everyone because it's dinner time at Jenna's house. Instead of going out to eat and spending a lot of money, Jenna's friends bring their best foods. It's a huge meal that saves money and starts a fun competition for the title of Potluck Royalty. Step 4. The Trouble with Social Pressure Ah, social pressure. It's like having a sneaky salesman in your group of friends. But don't worry, because dialogue is your shield. Don't hide your financial goals like buried wealth. Instead, bring them to the surface and tell your friends about them. You may be shocked by what they say. Remember that real friends back your goals, whether you want to save up for a dream vacation or start a fund for bad times. John tells his friends about how he wants to save a lot of money. To his surprise, they rally around him, offering places to hang out that are easy on the wallet and cheering for his frugal choices. John's social life doesn't just get by, it feeds on shared laughs and adventures that don't cost a lot of money. Step 5. The 24-Hour Rule Keep attention, because we're about to share a secret weapon against impulsive buying, which is a dangerous beast. Enter the 24-Hour Rule, 
your reliable defense against impulsive purchases and spending you'll later regret. Imagine you're walking through the mall when you see it. The thing you want. The temptation that's calling to your pocket like a siren. Before you know it, you're walking out with a shiny bag of instant satisfaction. When time passes, you start to wonder, did I really need that? Don't worry, because the 24-hour rule is here to help. The rule is simple. If you're about to buy something that's not on your list of basics, stop. Give yourself a break for 24 hours. Think about it. Let your feelings calm down so that your logical mind can take over. Step 6. Temptation to shop online. Ah, online shopping. The place where your wallet is put to the test the most. With just a few clicks, you can have a wide range of goods delivered right to your door. But the results aren't always as magical. Don't worry, there is a way to deal with online shopping. Before you click checkout, use the 24-hour rule, which you can do online. Put things in your cart, step away from the screen, and think about it for a day. Is that cute unicorn lampshade really something you need? Or could you find a better way to spend that money? Step 7. The Fortress of the Emergency Fund Be careful, folks, because the world is full of things that cost you money that you didn't plan on. These sneaky bills show up when you least expect them. One day, your reliable car chooses to give you a concert of falter, which shows you that reliable is a matter of point of view. Enter the hero on the left side of the stage, the Emergency Fund Fortress. This is your own personal financial sentry, ready to protect you from unexpected costs. Think of the Emergency Fund Fortress as a superhero identity for your money. It's the secret money you've been working hard to build, ready to save the day when life throws you a shock. Whether you need to fix your car, get medical care, or if you lose your job suddenly, your fortress is the shield that protects your financial peace of mind. Step 8. The Power of Small Wins Oh, the excitement of winning! Well, we're not talking about taking over countries or getting a gold medal at the Olympics. Instead, we're talking about the wonderful world of financial progress. Imagine that you are trying to save money for a dream trip. The end goal is amazing, but it's still a long way off. You can still be happy as small wins are the little victories that happen along the way and make the trip fun. It's like leveling up in a video game, but instead of virtual points, you earn real steps toward your cash goals. Every time you reach a small goal, your brain sends out a burst of endorphins to celebrate. This keeps you motivated to keep going. Step 9. Eating out versus cooking at home. It's time to see dining out versus eating in go head-to-head -head in a battle that might change the way you think about dinner plans. Imagine a restaurant with dim lighting soft candles, and a menu full of tasty treats. Going out to eat is about more than just the food. It's an event. It's a trip that takes you away from the daily grind with exotic flavors and beautifully presented dishes. But there's a catch. When the bill comes, that magical food suddenly comes with a price tag. Now, turn your attention to the cozy kitchen at your house. When you cook a meal yourself, the smell of your favorite dish fills the air. Eating isn't just a way to get food, it's also a way to feel comfortable and in charge. You choose the item, the amount, and most importantly, how much it will cost. Yes, the bill at the end, it's often a small part of what you'd pay at a restaurant. Step 10. Spend money on yourself, because you deserve it. Hold on to your money, because it's time to invest in the most important thing you own, yourself. Think of it as investing in the future by buying stocks. Picture this, you're given a magical box. Inside you find an amazing thing, yourself. Your skills, knowledge, health, and goals are all included in this amazing package. Now ask yourself, would you let this prize sit around collecting dust? Or would you care for it and polish it until it shines? Your network is more than just a list of people you know. It's also a safety net, a place to bounce ideas off of, and a source of inspiration. Building ties that mean something is an investment that pays off emotionally. Every relationship you have, from family to friends to teachers, helps you grow as a person and feel good about yourself. Think about Alex, who never stops learning. Instead of buying something on the whim of the moment, he spends his money on an online lesson on personal finance. Alex takes charge of his finances now that he knows more and watches his savings grow like an overachieving beanstalk. Step 11. Follow the cash-first rule. 
In a world where plastic cards and digital payments are common, cash seems like a mythical relic from a long ago time. But its magic is in the fact that you can touch it. Use the cash first rule. Take out a set amount of cash to spend on whatever you want. And when it's gone, it's gone. This method makes spending a choice, so you have to think twice before handing over your hard-earned cash. It's not just the act of using cash, it's also the way it makes you think. When you hand over your hard-earned cash, you're more likely to stop and ask, is this really worth it? The cash first commandment makes spending a conscious choice instead of something you do without thinking, so you can focus on what really counts. Now that you know more and have a clearer idea of what you want to do, it's time to put theory into practice. So go out there, smart saver, and let your choices show what you want to achieve, not just what you want at the moment. Watch the next video at our channel and become a frugal superhero. Until next time, frugal warriors.